I wanted to jam screwdrivers into my ears the first time I heard Henry Cow's album, Western Culture. I remember hearing the first 10 seconds and my jaw dropped and my eyes bulged out of their sockets. It was the worst music I had ever heard. But like a good road rage video on YouTube, I just couldn't turn it off. <laughs> this was a different kind of music and I just didn't understand it. My gut was telling me there was more to appreciate than I was hearing, but my ears were telling me to turn it off immediately, just as my wife continues to do every time she hears Henry Cow. My only exposure to the band was through a song called Nirvana for Mice, which is fairly accessible and very melodic. <laughs> That they were a weird band uh, and that their mascot was a knitted sock that they featured on the cover of several of their records. What I didn't know is that they were completely out of their minds, fiercely rebellious, and deep, deep into music theory. My good friend Jake, who has a music degree, explained a bit of what Henry Cow was doing, and that knowledge was key to unlocking my appreciation for this record. Western culture contains two pieces of music across several movements. The first piece, History and Prospects, is a brutal beating of atonal motifs, ending with a hypnotic and nauseating dirge. <laughs> The second piece, Day by Day, is more like Chinese water torture, complemented by the most incredible piano solo you've ever heard. I've listened to this solo several times and I legitimately cannot figure out how a human played it. This album was a jaw dropper for me for three reasons. One, because it has the most courageous opening minute of any album I've ever heard. Two, because learning how to listen to the album permanently changed the way I listen to music. And three, it helped me to realize that music isn't good or bad, but sometimes it's something I understand and something I don't. If you've never heard Henry Cow before, I highly recommend reading the very thorough Wikipedia page about their history and approach to music. It's enlightening, encouraging, and thought-provoking. They were a group of women and men who had real skin in the game. They did everything they could to avoid routine musical performance. They changed how they approached their instruments. They even kicked members out of the band in the middle of a tour just to shake things up. <laughs> Believe it or not, this album is very listenable to me now. I actually really love it. A lot of it is singable if you can pick out the different motifs. Uh, if you've never heard it, I would take 40 minutes and listen with a very, very open mind. 
And if you've heard it and hated it, maybe you should ask a friend with a music degree to help you to hear what you're not hearing. This album is not an easy album to listen to, and it will enrich your life. If you love this album like I do, let us know in the comments. If you hate this album, let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, especially if you go listen to it for the first time as a result of this video. Thank you. 